Hi Floss Tube, it's Deb from Frog Cottage Designs. This is my uh, little world of cross stitch. And yeah, today is the 29th of April and this is Floss Tube number 25. It's been a flat out busy two weeks. I had the 24 hours of cross stitch on the weekend, which I spread over three days and um, I achieved heaps. For those that follow me on Instagram, I flooded Instagram with all my stitching. I um, picked, oh, I just went through and my decision wheel and I just picked out my whips and I spent roughly two hours on each whip. So I've touched a lot of my whips uh, just by glance, maybe 15, 18, not sure, but um, we'll go through them today. Uh, yeah, so the exciting time was 24 hours of cross stitch. My hubby and Mr. 14 went to the Opal Mine up in Lightning Ridge. We were supposed to go there on school holidays, but the floods from Queensland came down into New South Wales and we couldn't get there. And then in the end, appointments just kept coming on. I said to my hubby, just go alone, take Zaki with you and... Yeah, so I think they're home tomorrow. They've been gone for a week. Um, they were going to go for 10 days, but I think they've had enough, so they're ready to come home. So I thought, better get my floss tube in. So um, let's get started. So I'll just randomly go through them. Um, they're not in any order or anything, and we'll see how we go. Oh, that whinging is my Dalmatian. She's missing her daddy, so and a bit of a soot. So, um, a little bit creased. This first pattern is Quaker de Noel. It was a stitch along I did with Miss Chrissy's stitches last year and Chrissy's finished and I haven't. So I picked that up. I think yesterday I picked that one up and I've done a little bit. I finished off, where is he? Oh, I must have finished off this motif here and I've just come down this area there. And that's just on a 20, 28 count, I think it was like a vintage white or vintage cream or something from Sew It All in Australia. So um, the thread is really nice thread and I'm not sure. I put it away because I wasn't really... I just felt the variegation was too strong. I would have liked it to ease into the colours more. But yesterday and this morning when I stitched a little bit, I did enjoy it. So, but I'll show you these. Whoops. I'll give you one that I haven't attacked. And these are French. And it's called Moulin. And it's from Broidery comaprendre.com but it's oh yeah you can see the color yeah so we found that in France and I bought a couple of skeins and that and it's um been really nice and it's nice and soft it was an enjoyable stitch normally I stitch it get the poops and put it away which um when I go through a couple I think I'm going to retire one or two of these whips just get frustrated with them. The next one is, we didn't do that one. That's in the wrong pile. Now I did my 24 hours of cross stitch over three days. Uh, one day I did eight hours, the other day I did eight hours, the other day I did six hours or something. So it, it all added up. I'm just having a look. I haven't got um, a picture of this one, but it's on my iPad. I like to put them on to good notes on my iPad. And um, so I can highlight as I go. So this is Ida May Crow, and I've been doing her for a little while. But I finally finished her dress, gave her and gave her some feet. So she's very cute. And... This is on a 32 count murky, and the designer is the good huswife. 
everything I'll show, I'll put the um, patterns below. Oh, I've got a pattern here. Sometimes when I put into my iPad, um, when I've taken the photo, I just put the pattern straight back into the bag. I haven't put it into, back into my stash. So I've got some patterns and some not. But this is Coffee Quaker by Handstream Samplery. And I think I worked on this tight in the past two weeks. I'm a stitch in hand, so therefore I'm a bit creasy. So I finished off this one here. And I moved, no, I finished off this one here and I moved to the crow. That's it there. And I love this red and it's only in two spots. So I'm going to um, change one of the motifs into a red because I like red. Red's my favorite color. <coughs> Oh, that was on a 32 count country mocha. And it's just linen, Belfast linen. Uh oh. Whoops, we got through. Okay. Oh, what's this one? This one's Bows of Holly. Actually, I'll show you both because they're both on here. Bows of Holly, I have the, the pattern in here. And this is by With Thy Needle and Thread. I like her. So I did a little bit of work on this. I did some more of the snowman, gave him a nose, and I did started to do the letters coming up. Yeah. And then while we're on, this is just on a 32 Perman linen, 32 count. I did have this one and Boo and Barbie on the same piece so I keep them in the same bag and this one I haven't got the pattern in here but it's um, a pumpkin and I'm not sure what's on the pumpkin and but that sheep is pulling it along and this one I frogged out everything I picked up I had to frog I frogged out the green because um, the other one didn't suit and I did a bit more of the pumpkin and I came around and I started doing the letters up. So, as I said, I only did two hours on most of those and both those patterns are by With Thy Needle and Thread. I just put everything in, a, in the box. So we're just pulling them out randomly. Another one I don't have to, I should have my iPad to show you the pictures. Getting ready, I didn't do the iPad to bring it out. This one is by Lila Studio and it's Halloween Quaker. And previously I had done one, two and the hat and I've started on the next motif. And that's also on a 32 count murky. So, I've really got back into the stitching with the 24-hour cross-stitch and I'm just, <gasps> every spare moment I pick up my needle. Back to where I was before. Yay! Self-care. It's all about self-care, isn't it? Now this one is Cross-Stitch Nation, which a lot of people are doing this on Instagram. And that's again by Heartstring Samplery. And on this one, I finished the word stitch and I did some more flowers. So didn't realize that it's quite a long one. So I still have more um, stitching to go. Is it all on one line? Yeah, Cross Stitch Nation. So it's gonna be a big, long one. And this one too, I do love the variegation. Don't know if you can see it, of the brown. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, what's that? Oh, thread. Yeah, I do like this one. And that's just on a 32 count permanent natural lemon. Next 
It's like a little surprise because I'm not sure what's in it. Oh, yes. As I said, a lot of the things I touched, I had to frog. And um, I spent an hour or two on each one. So on this one is Project Quarantine. I had this last year and that's by With a Needle and Thread. And when I started stitching, I was up to the S and it should have been let's stay. And I didn't, I just started on the word stay. So I've got to frog that out. And then when I did the H and the M, I actually did it in two threads where I was only doing one thread, two over one. So, so once I realized that, and I had been stitching a fair while on that, um, yes, I put it away. But I'm not taking it out of my whips. I'll just uh, one day sit down and frog that out and start again. I don't mind if I have to start again. It just goes back in the pile. As long as you touch it, that's the main thing. Oh, here's one I haven't um, touched for a little while. And this is Witch's Day Out. And that's that. Whoop. This is that the one I did? Yes. And that's by With Thy Needle and Thread. And sorry, if you know, I'm a big Brenda Gervais fan. And I have all my witches in here. So look, I'm full of all threads and this is the one. And this is just on um, tea and coffee dyed Monaco. 28 count. And there's my stitching. Don't know if you can see it. It's very hard. And yes, I don't leave a lot of <laughs> room because I plan to either make that into a pillow or um, I'll just stick it on sticky board, put it in a frame. And as I said, um, for the 24 hours of cross stitch, I just use the tiny decision wheel. I've got all my whips in there, not my stitch alongs, just the whips, and I just kept hitting that. Oh, I don't know if I worked on this actually. Yes, I did, in my garden. It's just not on my 24 hour pile. Oh. So this is 20, this is in my garden by Black, Blackbird Designs and it's part of their, the sewing club book. Sorry. I don't know if I'll make it into a drum. I'll have to see. I can sew, which is okay, but um, yeah, I'll just have to see how that goes. And this is on, um, I think it's a 28 count week style works. Oh, now. So I'm working over this side here. So I did, um, I think I did the basket and the foliage. So that's close to a finish. I think I just have to do the flower there and uh, that's nearly finished. And I'll be joining Brenda and the Cereal Starter. They're doing, um, I think every weekend in May, I think it is, uh, Blackbird Designs stitching. So I will um, join them with that. And last year I signed up with the Cruel Goblin and got... Um, a kit every two months from this sewing club book that was month number two so I still have four or five or six to finish so I thought that'll be a good uh, incentive to join them a fave this is a friend loveth by Plum Street Samplers Oop. this way And this too, I think this one's on a, who's a friend loveth? A friend loveth. I don't know where the friend loveth. I think it's on Country Mocha. Got a lot of things on the Country Mocha. And I actually stitched the little lady, which was so cute. Yeah. 
And a lot of these um, that I'm pulling out now and showing you, I started in May for Mania last year. So um, maybe we better finish those. I will be going over some May plans. Still more. Ooh, this is one I haven't. Go, guys. This is one I haven't touched in a while. Scarlet. Whoa. Scarlet House seeking refuge. Oh, she's a sookie. Again, country mocha. And I. Oops. Actually. On this page, I finished the flowers. Um, what did I do? Yeah, I finished the leaves and the flowers and I was starting some of the white here, but I just have to do the inside of those. Don't know why I didn't do those, but yeah. So it's a nice stitch. I thought that would be a good memory of um, 2020, Seeking Refuge. Oh, I didn't tell you about new starts because I couldn't find um, my the bag it was in. So I've just found it now. I've put it in a bag with something else. So that's why I didn't do that. But do I have the... Yes, I do. It's a PDF from Stitching with the Housewives and it's Cabbage Seeds. And my daughter, um, she has a traineeship with a childcare centre. But previously she used to work in the market garden that her boyfriend's family owns. She still helps them out on weekends and they grow cabbages and cauliflower. So I thought that would be nice for them. I might make it into, see all my... My thread's everywhere. Um, make it into a magnet. And I'll do, like, um, made by Michelle McGraw. She actually put the seeds in it, or I forget what she put in, rice or something, so when you shook it, that it actually sounded like seeds. So I'm going to do that, but as a magnet. I'll give it to um, my daughter. Not sure. Is that the big one or no? That's my pattern. So it's this one. It's um, Forest Queen. I gave a giveaway on that because I forgot I actually bought the PDF and actually bought a hard cover, a hard copy, and there it is. There, she's so cute. That's by Barbara Anna. And she's on a twilight, 32 count twilight blue. And what did I do? Oh, this one was a frog too. Why was it a frog? Because I had one of the little mushrooms too over. So I had to um, take him out to do the skirt. So I don't know. I count, I count. But um, I think I've decided I can't watch floss tube and stitch. Um because it's usually when I do the floss tube, I'm too busy writing down everything that everyone's stitching. Go, ooh, got to get that, got to get that. And I'm making too many mistakes. No, I think I'll still do my floss tube. That's another good thing. 24 hours of cross stitch. I just downloaded about 10 floss tubes and just watch that. This was an old one that I restarted. And everybody's seen this one before. And it's Pandemic by Long Dog Sampler. I started that in October last year with um, silky threads, but with parchment. And it just didn't give the effect that I was looking for. So what do you do? You turn it over. And I've bought some silks from Silt Silks for You, which is in Australia. 
and I've never stitched with silk before and it's just lovely. So um can't tell you what I did. Oh yep, yeah, I did around here and I had two uh, seatings with that one. I really love that one. I'm glad I changed that. You have to be happy, especially when there's so many thousands of stitches. Sorry for all the noise. Oh, we're getting close now. This one is uh, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Um, there's a big stitch along. I'm doing that with Nicole from Darwin Lee Design Studio. And we usually stitch on a Friday. But I don't know what's happened. I haven't been able to. I do do it once a week, but not always on the Friday. So I've finished this except the um, spiders, which I say every floss tube. <laughs> and I'm on to this one now. And I do love this. I enjoy this one. And again, this is on 32 count Monaco. And I've done... Oh, turn around. A lot down here. So I've um, been filling in down here. And that's the base of the tree. So I really like that. Enjoy that one. And yes, that will take a while. But I've really... I'm happy to pick that up. When the wheel comes on, I go, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, we can't get that back in, so. It's too many threads. Oh, I have to get a bigger bag. I'll put that over there. Oh, this is a whip I haven't touched for a long time, which so it's nice to um, be able to touch that. And it's the Tired Trio by Plum Street Sampler. I did the Fox's Few quite quickly, stitched it quickly, and it's over in my sewing room. I still haven't stitched it, and I'll probably put it into a pillow. Um, so it was nice to pick that up and do that. So I didn't do too much. I just did, I'll just move this out of the way. I did a little bit more of the trunk and the flowers. I wish I'd had 24 hours of cross stitch every weekend. Don't know how the family would cope, but I would. I would. Especially when you see that I've touched so many. It's such an achievement, and I'm very proud of myself. Oh. This is an old one as well. I'm not sure if I've got a picture. I've only got the little bit. And I'm doing the Hogsmeade travel poster. I did buy a set of three. And they were a PDF download from Country Stitches. Oh, this is one I start and I stop. I had this much done. And I was doing it as cross stitch. And then you see everybody else, they're all doing tent stitch, which we call tapestry, you know, just across. And I thought, oh, I'll do that too, because it'll be a lot quicker. And so, I've lost it now. So I started again, and I did it with uh, just the two strands, like I did it, but the coverage wasn't there. I talked to someone else, they used three strand. I did that, and the coverage wasn't there. So I unpicked it, this was all the other day, and I thought, oh, I'll just use six strands. And it's six strands, and I just think it's too thick. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to go on a small account. Yeah, I don't know. I think six is too much. So I'd be happy to do three. Or I might just do a small account and do a smaller. So I'm going to retire that one for a little while while I have a think. Because I played with it so much. And the other day, like I said, I frogged so much. Started, did it, didn't like it. Yeah, so sorry, Mr. Hogwarts poster, but you're going to be put away for a little while. And um, I can't remember what count that is. And I know I can just get something to measure it. Actually, I'll leave it out so I'll remember to do that. Because usually I don't. I pick it up and it's gone. The next one is um, 
Fresh Eggs Farm. Again, this is another one that um, started a long time ago and I haven't touched. And I was quite surprised when I picked it up because it was a big piece of um, 28 black chalkboard linen that I only started the, the truck. So I think I just had a little bit done. I had to frog that too. So I actually just uh, spent some time doing that. And I remember now my husband really loves um, the trucks that the um, Priscilla does. Um, so I said to him, I'll, I'll do you one. So that one's been put away. And that is it for everything I touched. Was somebody adding up? Because um, <laughs> I wasn't adding up. And I'm really happy with... Um, what I've done. What I'll do is I'll show you a little bit of haul. My uh, one, two, three stitch order has come through. I do have some other orders. Oh no, it wasn't. Not one, two, three stitch. Fat quarter shop. And it took eight weeks to get here. Hmm. Oh. I don't know where it came from, actually. It must be... No, I did the Fat Quarter Shop last floss tube, so this must be one, two, three stitch. Yeah. I got another chart hanger. Not that I use charts anymore, because it's usually on my iPad, but sometimes I pick up some of these old whips and I haven't put them in the um, iPad um, because the kids played with it and they broke that got some nice 32 count light blue just some linen and it's for something I can't remember what it's for so now um when I order things I'm writing down what it's for you think you'd remember I got some 14 black count Ada and a chalkboard one as well one black and they're for Christmas ornaments that I want to do and I've been loving um Lady Dot Creates the Chenille. So that one's algae. I got some pink pom poms. And these are from all my little pillows. Just some black chenille. That'd be nice on a witchy one. I've got some pink. And I just did random what was in stock. What's that one? Oh, that's blueberry, but it looks a bit um, black. Red one for Christmas, and I've got some more magazine things to do, so I've got a neutral for them. Most of the things I stitch, they just turn into pillows. <laughs> um, and I've been seeing this, Brenda Gervais again. Um, what's it called? Jelly Bean Jubilee. And I just love the bunnies in it, and because they're small, and I thought, I won't make it Eastery, but it'd be nice to do one or two spring ones to put in my little dough bowl. And we're in, um, what are we in? We're in autumn now, so, or fall, so not too far away. I've got some time to stitch. And when Barbara Anna's Dreaming Girl Sal came out, that's number one, um... I thought, yes, yes, I'm in, but I banned myself from starting anything new. That cabbage seed is the first thing I've started new this year, except for my own frog cottage design things. So um, I've been holding off. So for mania, I might do some new. So this is 32 count azure blue Lagana, and that's for, that's for my dreaming girl, Sal. And you know... I don't know. I went through, I thought, oh, I've got some um, sorry, things already kitted up and that's Boo to You, Henrietta and Co, Peppermint Powers and Merry Old Soul which are from With Our Needleland Thread and they're just like little pillows and I've had them kitted up for ages and I just thought I need to finish, need to finish something. And I thought, mm, to reward myself, I might start them for mania. So when I went through, when I kitted them up, I bought the threads that I didn't have. And when I 
pulled them out the other day, I pulled the other threads that I knew were in my stash to put it all together. And then that's when I looked at The Dreaming Girl. Oh, I better do that one. Then I watched Cynthia's Brew and she had Halloween Royal Family, which is a quirky design. So I ordered that. So maybe that's a new start. Um, I've got one down here called Tomato Dame. What's that from? That's somebody else I saw on Floss Tube. So I bought that one. So um, I also saw on Brenda and the Serial Starter. I love Blackbird. Someone's doing a stitch along or somebody was making, they pulled it out. It's called Come Into My Garden. And it's a beautiful big stitchery. And I had planned to start for May, Eye of the Sparrow by Heartstring Samplery. That was for me. And when I saw this come into my garden, it's probably roughly the same size, 300 by 400 stitches. And I thought, mm, my mummy would like that. So I purchased that and all the threads. So I'm just waiting for that to come. So somewhere through May, um, I think I've counted 12 new starts, but I may cut that down and try and just concentrate um, and get a few finishes from these whips. But basically, one, two, three, yeah, I think I've got about 12. So maybe I'll work on those for the month of May and start them. I'm still trying to decide because I don't want to turn, I had 30 odd whips. I don't want to turn around and now have 40 whips. So um, I'll be doing some thinking before the next floss tube, I think. Otherwise, for May, I was just planning to do what I've done with 24-hour costage in the last two weeks. Just every day I spin the wheel, whatever comes up, I'll stitch. Now, I only worked on the whips, so uh, maybe over the next couple of days, I'll do my wheel for my stitch alongs, which is the, what do we have outstanding? Um, Chopping Mall, Universal, Monster, Adam's Family, Letters to Hogwarts. Oh, the list goes on. I've, I've got another basket, but there's only like 10 or I think stitch longs in that. So um, I'll actually, yeah, I'll work on that for the next couple of days. But I did promise a giveaway. And you know what? I didn't prepare it for now. So what I'll do is um, I'll say goodbye and then I'll do a little video and announce the winner. So I'd like to say hello to Sheila, who's my new friend. Hi, Sheila. We've been um, emailing back and forth. She's not on Instagram, but she uh, found my floss tube in the last two weeks. So We've been sending pictures of what we like and what we're stitching and that. So that's really nice. And that's what Floss Tube's about, you know, diarising your journey and to make some new stitchy friends. So if you like the content, please like and subscribe. I'm quite um, active on Instagram under Deb underscore R underscore Frog Cottage. And... I think that's it from me. So whatever you're doing, enjoy and happy stitching. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm back. I only had three comments for the giveaway on um, the question about needles. I um, stated that I like using Pat Carson needles and I asked you if you wanted to have a chance to win one of my PDF downloadable patterns from Frog Cottage, um, just let me know what sort of needles you use. I had three people, as I said, Ozzie Maria, Sheila Wilson, and Michelle from Made by Michelle McGraw. So since there's only three of you, um, I'm happy to send one of my PDF patterns to all of you. So if you go to my website, which you can find in the Dropbox, have a look at the Frog Cottage downloadable patterns and let me know which ones you'd like, which one you'd like, sorry. And um, I'll send that to you. So thanks for entering, ladies, and enjoy the patterns. I'll be in touch soon. Bye.